It's that time of year and fresh berries are becoming more and more available. If you have two cups of fresh berries of any kind, this old-fashioned Amish cobbler is an easy and delicious recipe. In a previous recipe video, I showed you this recipe with blackberries and today I'm using raspberries. To start, I'm creaming the butter and sugar together. I have a quarter cup of room temp unsalted butter and I'm adding in a half a cup of sugar. You can use a mixer or it is rather easy to incorporate with a spoon. In another bowl I have one cup of flour and I'm adding in a couple teaspoons of baking powder and mixing well. Next I'm adding a little of the flour mixture to the creamed butter sugar alternating with milk, stirring in between and just mixing until combined. Remember not to over mix. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm adding the mixture into a well buttered casserole or baking dish and just spreading out. Now for those beautiful raspberries. I have two cups of raspberries that are rinsed, drained thoroughly, and evenly covering the top of the batter. As you can see, we are going to need a little more liquid. You can use any berry juice, apple juice, but today I have some fresh orange juice. I'm pouring three quarters of a cup of orange juice evenly over the top, and that's it. You may be tempted to stir, but don't stir. Baking at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 to 50 minutes, or until firm and golden brown on top. This Amish raspberry cobbler smells so good. I'm letting it rest for at least 30 minutes before serving. You can eat this warm or cold. It's yummy either way. The cobbler has a nice cake texture and the raspberries are a nice burst of flavor throughout. You can serve this raspberry cobbler with milk, serve it with some cottage cheese, or the typical scoop of vanilla ice cream. Today I'm drizzling with a simple icing that is a combination of confectioner sugar and a little of the orange juice. You can taste a hint of the orange juice in the cobbler, but if you wanted a more bright taste, you could add in a little orange zest. I hope you give this Amish raspberry cobbler recipe a try and enjoy. This morning I went to the farmer's market and got a great deal on fresh blueberries. These blueberry crumble bars are real easy to make and make a nice, bright, refreshing snack. This is a great recipe to make for parties and get-togethers. Most people love them. In my bowl, I have three cups of all-purpose flour, and I'm adding in one cup of sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, giving that a good mix to incorporate. Just a reminder that I will leave the recipe and the list of ingredients for these blueberry crumble bars below this video. Also remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video recipe and click the bell to make sure you receive notification of all my future video recipes. Now that everything is mixed well, I'm going to incorporate some fat. You can use shortening or butter or a combination of both and I'm using both. The shortening and butter should be at room temperature and I'm using a pastry cutter to cut the fat into the flour. You can also use a fork to do this. Continue cutting until you see pea size or smaller crumbles. Something like this. Next, I have one large room temperature egg that I will do the same thing and this will take a minute to incorporate. Here I have four cups of fresh blueberries that are rinsed and drained. I'm adding a half a cup of sugar and four teaspoons of cornstarch, giving that a good gentle mix so all the blueberries are coated. 
The cornstarch will help hold the blueberries together and thicken the blueberry juices as they cook. For a little pop of brightness, I'm adding in the juices of half a lemon, again giving everything a gentle mix. I have my oven preheating to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I have a 9 by 13 pan that I greased and I also put in a parchment liner so the bars will be easier to lift out. I'm placing half of my flour crumb mixture on the bottom, spreading out and gently tamping down. This is going to make a nice firm base for the blueberry crumble bars. Now the blueberries and leveling out. They are so beautiful. The other half of the flour crumb mixture I'm sprinkling evenly over the top. I'd like to add some sliced almonds on the top for a little crunch. This is going into a 375 degree Fahrenheit oven for 45 minutes or until golden brown on top. The kitchen smells so good. Going to let this completely cool before cutting. In the meantime, I'm making a simple icing to drizzle over the top. This is about a half a cup of powdered sugar or confectioner's sugar and a little orange juice. You could also use milk. Just putting in a teaspoon of the orange juice and giving it a stir. You just want to add a little at a time. And this is the consistency that you're looking for. You can put on as much or as little of the icing that you like. This recipe makes 12 nice blueberry crumble bars. Of course, I love the blueberries. The crumble topping and sliced almonds add a nice crunch and texture, and the simple icing gives it a pop of sweetness. This blueberry crumble bar recipe is easy and delicious. I hope you give it a try and enjoy. If you like this video recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Facebook and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!